Well, it's taken me a few failed attempts, but I did it. Woo! Homemade slime, ladies and gents. This stuff is wild. <laughs> wow. Woo! And now I just gotta figure out how to get it all unstuck from my fingers. Back to the story. Let's get to it. From the beginning, God had a plan to rescue us. We see it in the Old Testament when he told Noah to build an ark to rescue his family from the flood and when he used Moses to rescue the Jewish people from slavery out of Egypt. Then finally, he sent the ultimate savior, his son, Jesus. Jesus loves us so much that he died to save us. And then he rose back to life. But he knew he was eventually going to leave his disciples behind. He gave his friends a mission and promised that he would send them a helper. Oh. Nice. Jesus' mission for his friends is also true for us today, to tell others about him. And just like he promised he'd always be with them, he's always with us too. Now that's some good <laughs> news. It must have seemed impossible to the disciples to carry out Jesus' mission. Sometimes things seem impossible for us too, but we can remember that God is always with us. And when he says he's always with us, that means always. And remembering that God's with you and that he can do the impossible can help you stay determined when you're doing something new or something difficult. And since everybody's different, different things are going to be difficult for everybody. For me, it was making slime. But to some of you, you could do this with your eyes closed. I definitely couldn't. I could not do that. To other people, hiking a mountain or learning how to play a musical instrument or juggling a soccer ball might seem impossible, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. Just remember God's with you and keep going. That's the one thing to remember today. Keep going even when it seems impossible. Well, I'm gonna go play with my slime <laughs> and maybe make some more with different colors <gasps> and glitter. Oh, the possibilities are endless. See you guys next time.